Hey, my name is Oscar and I'm a product marketing manager at GetResponse. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start using web push notification feature in GetResponse. Web pushes allow you to reach contacts in a completely new way. They will display your custom notification in the browser of a person that agreed to get them. That person doesn't need to be a subscriber to receive them, so it's a great way to expand your marketing reach. We'll start with installing a tracking script on your WordPress page and adding a service worker file to a server. Let's get started. Let's go to dashboard menu and click web push notifications. To start, click add site. And here you'll have to provide all the necessary details to start creating and sending web push notifications. Enter a name for your site and provide a URL. Additionally, you can upload an image if you want to add an icon. That would be a default image displayed in all your notifications and custom prompts. It could be a logo or a brand icon, for example. I will add one very quickly here. And if you're ready, click Add Site and continue. Having your page added to get response we need to configure it so it works properly with web push notifications feature. There are two steps. First, we need to copy this tracking code. To do that, simply click copy code. And then we need to add this tracking code to the site where you want to display notifications. It can be placed, it should be placed in the head section. And as I said before, I'm using WordPress page. So let's go to my admin panel so I can show you where exactly paste this code. In your WordPress panel, go to Appearance tab on the left hand side and choose Theme Editor. From the panel on the right side, let's scroll down and choose Theme Header. And the code we just copied should be pasted exactly in this place. Let's paste it now and uh, click update file. And the tracking code is now properly added to my WordPress page. The second step is downloading a service worker file. And then we have to install it in, install it in the root directory of your site and your server. There are many ways to do it, but probably the easiest one is to transfer it using file transfer protocol, FTP. Uh, and I'm using this way just now. I have my file downloaded on my disk and now I have to simply drag and drop it to my directory, to my page. If you're not comfortable doing it yourself, ask your web developer for help so you don't have to worry about the step at all. And now, when people opt in, the service worker file will be downloaded to their browser. If they subscribe to your notifications, they will be able to get them automatically. And now we have all the steps completed. We can simply click finish. And now, when you're ready, you can start creating your own custom prompt messages and notifications. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.